What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Are you ready to hear some news that you probably already know since you follow us on Twitter, I guess? Anyway, we, we said it everywhere on Twitter and on, like, on all rooftops. But I'm gonna talk about it here as well, you know? What better than a good old stream uh, to talk to the community? That's you. That it. Whoa, that, that was abrupt. Ah, let's go. Over there. We got some news! Finally! Oh my god, it's been what, like another two weeks since I haven't streamed? Like, my, my streaming... I keep saying I want to get back on streaming, like, every day. And I keep delaying those. Cause I'm a bad person! No, I actually streamed yesterday. I made like a second channel uh, just for the Luz. And now my cat is in the house as well. Anyway, I made a second channel just for the Luz because uh, my uh, my daughter uh, really wants to uh, to stream as well. Let me put that down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let me know if the audio is alright, guys, by the way. Hey, that's a little bit. Uh, sweet. Okay, let me switch that over here so I can see all of you beautiful. Alright, there we go. Nana, how you doing? Nana, what's up? <sighs> yeah, yesterday I made a stream, so basically I... What the hell is that? Boom. That camera, man. Stop moving! Alright, I know about that little thing over there. I don't like it. Come on! Stop move. Ah! Yeah, it! Alright, sweet. Yeah, so I made a second channel called Latch Plus, by the way, if you want to check it out. Like, it's just like me experimenting with other stuff. Uh, basically, my uh, daughter wanted to uh, do some streaming since like a long time. She's a big YouTuber's fr uh, fan. Like, uh, she loves a lot of uh, YouTubers out there. And she was like, and she's like, oh, when I'm going to be old, I want to be a YouTuber. So, uh, yeah, I decided to just make like another channel and play with her. Uh, we basically played The Forest uh, together. Uh, it was so fun. We had like five people watching and that's it. But uh, yeah, like, and um, she's practicing English that way, you know, because we're describing everything. And I was actually doing homework with her while she was playing The Forest. I know The Forest is like a very horror game and all that, but she already saw everything on YouTube via the uh, all the YouTubers that she watched already. So, meh, you know, there's nothing stressful anymore. Plus... Uh, I'd rather be, I'd rather her to discover those stuff with me than alone and be scared and misrepresent everything, you know? So if I, I'm, if it's uh, something that we can share together and spend some quality time, yay! I don't care about the horror part of the game. I don't know if it's a 30 plus or an 18 plus game, but meh. When is in Spanish? One day, one day Spanish. Well, we actually went to Spain a, a while ago. Uh, but yeah, we don't talk that much over there. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the language and all that. I'm here to talk a little bit about just ships and bees. I think I'm gonna keep that one here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, screw it. <sighs> so, but if you uh, saw the news, guys, uh, let me go check out on that popular console blog. Uh... Look at that! Boom! So I am right now on the internet, especially on the PlayStation blog. And what's over here? What's over here? Just Shapes and Beats! Hardcore Edition coming up on PlayStation on May 10th! That means tomorrow. <laughs> that actually means tomorrow. Why the hell did I didn't do a stream tomorrow? Yeah, 
Finally, we can say I hope we've been working on that for like months. Plural. I think it was uh, last year. We started the thing in last year. Cat, do you want to go out, cat? Oh, okay. Let me let me show you. She just want to go out. Can you see her? She's right over there. Poor little cat. And I got punched in the face by Nana. This will be the third GSB copy for myself. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for the support. All right, get out, cat. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, yeah. So what is the hardcore edition? I don't know. I don't remember. But I think it's... Uh, has it, did we say what it was? <laughs> Wait, did you just compare your game to a rock? I actually don't, didn't even read that. Uh, Mike they took care of all the words. He's really, really good with the words thingy. How hard it is. Oh, uh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I saw it. With, but anyway. Oh, got another punch by Larklen. What's up, friend? Larklen, man, it's been forever. Turn down your mic. Oh, okay. Okay. I've been peeking all the time. How about now? Thank you. Cat hype, your microphone, it hurts. Damn it. Yeah, yesterday was okay and now it hurts. Is it okay now? I just turned it out a bit. I tend to scream now. Uh, much better. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, it's, it's funny because I made a stream yesterday and it was all good. So I don't know what's happening. Anyway, thank you very much for the, the, the queue. Uh, yeah, basically, we have it here on the, on the PlayStation 4 is coming up like tomorrow. We're gonna have like a little exclusivity period about the uh, the hardcore uh, edition over there for a certain amount of time. I don't know how much I can disclose yet, and I don't know how much he, Mike will be will be uh, <laughs> angry about all that. That lost gamer man, what's up? I need to play your game. I need to play your levels, lost gamer. It is actually on my thing right over there on my list. Levels from lost gamer, huh? This is this is on the on the menu today, but yeah, guys, it takes forever to roll these on a console, and it's always about secrets and secrets and the amount of politics and paperwork there is to release on specific console. And we got another punch in the face by Tirit. What's up, Tirit? What is up? You were one of the few that was here yesterday with my daughter. Thank you very much. Um. Uh, so yeah, uh, what I was about to say, yeah, the amount of politics and the amount of paperwork that's implied into making a video game on consoles, it is nuts, guys. Like I wish I could say everything without getting in trouble. Like maybe one day when I'll be like, you know what, I retire. I don't want to make games anymore. I'll be like, this is what's happening behind the scene. You know, <laughs> maybe one day. But uh, no, not today. If I do that, it will be a business suicide, basically. But um, no, the amount of uh, people who are in politics, uh, like um, behind the scenes, is uh, freaking insane. And also on the production side, uh, having everything work on uh, the, the on the blah, 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 the online multiplayer part of the game makes everything way harder for us on the production side. Uh, the certification process is like insane. Uh, certification process, for those who don't know, is a, a like kind of a QA that is uh, on the part of the uh, console. So, for example, on Switch or PS4, you send your build. They will test your build and be sure that they won't that you don't realize it. Ali Zor, what's up, Ali? What is up, Ali? Speaking of the devil, the guy who made the everything possible. Bees, a, a big. Round of applause for Olivier right over here. Olivier, thank you so much for the part on PS4. I love you so much. <laughs> Press F. Send emos for Olivier. I don't know. Like, send fires or anything. Olivier is the mastermind. Uh, Uncle Vampy has joined the battle for four months and still fighting. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. We've got one F. There you go. Thank you. I'll take it. <laughs> Press F. <laughs> I'm not good by rolling people. We got two F. Sweet. That's for you, Olivier. Those two F. The best F ever. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So we are on PlayStation 4 now. Uh, that's one of the secrets that we finally unveiled. Uh, we have another secrets coming up. 
very soon-ish as well. I don't know when we're gonna do it, but uh, basically my main point is saying that we uh, we already have this update that we have to release everywhere, and we have the other update after it that's already in the pipeline, if not ready-ish. Yeah. Donation, oh my god! I'm through, <laughs> what? I'm through bait to latch, and it threw back to me. And what the hell? I threw it back. I threw a ball to latch and threw it back to me. And I threw the ball to latch. I don't know the reference, but I like the sound of it. I like the sound of it. Thank you very much, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. 20 bucks. Thank you so much. Keep your money for the next stream, by the way. That's going to be a nice, a nice segue for the next stream. Next stream. Uh, right over there. Charity streaming next week. So next week on the 16th. I will be streaming for like the entire day, um, starting at like uh, I, I said, uh, starting at 11 a.m. EST. Uh, how about that? But uh, sorry, 16 May 16. Yeah, let's see. May 16, 11 a.m. EST. So next week we're gonna do a charity stream. Uh, we are going to play the uh, hardcore uh, version of every single song and I will give money to charity according to the level of suckness that I will <laughs> lay upon the game. So basically probably uh, what I have in mind right now is one dollar per time I get hit and I try to get S rank in every single uh, levels. So that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, we're gonna have like a lots of giveaways, lots of keys, lots of uh, and even possibly T-shirts that we're gonna give out. So every time we receive, like every time we go to a certain threshold, let's say 50 or like 250 or something like that, we do a key giveaway to everybody watching and another uh, giveaway for a T-shirt. The uh, same thing, you know. So if you're just watching, you might get some prizes. And if you want to give to charity uh yeah we're gonna give it back to you afterwards you know so yeah it's gonna be for a stack up the guy has stack up we know him for a long time already we meet them in all the packs and everything they're very cool guys and all and uh yeah we decided to uh they were very interested to uh, work with us in doing this so i was like yeah you know what fuck it i'll do it with the hardcore edition since it makes all sense uh that you know I inflict pain upon myself and try to not suck and if I do I give money to people in needs so we're gonna do that we're gonna do that that's 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 that um <laughs> I cannot subscribe I cannot subscribe to your channel I spent all my money and buy GSB it's all good man it's all good I don't need your money bro <laughs> I'd rather you support VI the games than on this channel this is just to talk about the news and everything here. So yeah, I used to be, uh, I used to stream every single day and uh, show what I was working on. And the thing, actually, I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, uh, it, it's more difficult for me. Like I told the last time, it's more difficult for me for it to stream because I, I like I'm I'm in in like a lot of secrets and all that. But uh, since that, uh, ironically, since that the 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 the, the channel has become more popular. Uh, I mean, right now there's like 200 people watching or something. Uh, because of that, I'm like, oh, I want to stream good stuff for you guys. I want to, I want to be like, I want to be sure that when I stream, I, 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 I stream something interesting, something entertaining, and all that. But it kind of, I kind of shut myself in the foot doing that because now there's a lot of time where I'm, I'm like, oh, I don't want to stream today because I don't have anything interesting to stream. While when I started, I was streaming every day, uh, whatever I was doing. So sometimes it was boring. Sometimes it was just like showing up what I was working on, uh, just like showing up codes uh, and you know that thing over there, you know, beautiful code like this. Uh, but um, I was always, I had fun to just say this is part of game dev. This is what it is under the hood and all that, you know. Uh, now I'm kind of want I just want to show the flashy stuff, but it's kind of going uh, away of my original thoughts of this channel of just streaming. You know, if you want to be a game dev, if you want to be a coder, that is your day to day life. You know, it's not like always flashy and always PlayStation blog stuff like this. You know, uh, like most of the time, 
like 40 hours a week you stare at a blank page and you do stuff uh, it's very interesting for me though like i love coding if uh, making games is one of my passion coding is my second like very close second and uh i love like all the uh all the art inside the coding thing you know so uh, to share that on the stream was something that uh, I really appreciate. But since now there's like 200 people, I'm kind of like, well, you come from some vital or you come from just ships and beats, you might not want to watch me every single day code and all that, you know? Uh, so I don't know, like I'm kind of fighting in my head to see like, you just say, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna play a game today and just like chill out with you guys, or I'm just gonna code, or I'm just gonna do whatever, you know, instead of always trying to find the most interesting part so i i don't know that's why i made the second channel as well a uh, second channel will help me just do whatever i want and maybe uh like sometime i speak in french over there as well uh we tried to start in french over there but then like five or six people were watching and say like, i don't understand whatever you're saying so we switch in english but uh yeah like the second channel is just for me to just like going back to the roots where i just don't care i just start streaming and i share whatever is on my desktop already uh and maybe uh with that channel it will help me uh, get back to the roots and then bring everything back to the first channel i don't know so that's that was the uh that was a little rambling code is not working a server took too long to respond close and reopen game uh Am I mono or something? Your stream or my favorite background noise? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's that's why it is, right? Because I'm no, I don't watch stream. Uh, I want to say at all. Sometimes I go watch Jules and just say like, "Hey man, what's up?" And then I go out. You know, I just say like, "Hey," uh, I drop like the sub alert. Say, "Hey man, nice to see you. See you next time." Blah blah blah. But I don't actually watch it. Uh, I'm not really a, a, a consumer of Twitch. I like to, to talk about it, but I'm not really a consumer, which means that for me, it's hard. I kind of think, I kind of still think that the streams are something active, something. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to talk about that later. <laughs> You'll talk about meditation. Have you talked about meditation? Let me tell you about Jesus, guys. This is what the pop up over here. This is what it's about. We're going to meditate together. <laughs> okay, very closely. It's a little uh, software called uh, Stretchly and every 20 minutes it gives you a, a little pop-up that says like hey look outside because my my eyes you see I, I don't have my glasses anymore and I um, I take care of my eyes so I don't have to go like this all the time, you know uh, the first thing is I put the uh, the uh, the font of my uh, my coding way bigger and uh, yeah, that little uh, software is very in interesting to, you know, go stretch and just remember to get out and just like rest your eyes and all that. Uh, but yeah, I uh, lost my train of thoughts. What I was talking about, I was talking about my streams that I didn't know what to do with it. I was talking about that and I forgot the rest. Uh, talking about coding. I bet MK attacks coming both sides. <laughs> yeah, I like the uh, the hardcore edition. Uh, I can't wait to uh, to to, uh, to to try it up again on the PlayStation, on the actual PlayStation, because I cannot even try it on my PC because it's not it released on PC yet. So yeah, level editor. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna go switch to the level editor. Uh, level editor. So something I can show you guys. Uh, can I show it by here? Probably by here, right? Yeah. These days, I'm working on a little starter kit. The little starter kit will help me uh, do uh, Im import Flash animation from Flash into Unity. So we already have that. You know, guys, that I have uh, a um, a little tool called Flash to Unity that I created that to import all the animation from Flash into Unity. Duh! But it's also uh, it also works for Mono Game or Starling and all that. Uh, so it's basically an in-house uh, engine that we have uh, to just show up uh, animation uh, from Flash. Uh, but the thing is, it's ugly as hell. So I wanted to uh, improve it a bit. 
and make it more unity friendly so for example if i have uh, that thing over here the xml over here and i have that beautiful xml over there that this thing spew out you know so i have like a I have uh, all the, the thing from Flash directly, and then I put that into Unity, and then I import that, which it creates me a little asset like this with all the anima elements and all that. You probably don't see that much, but anyway. Uh, yeah, and then I can create like a, uh, a, a display object renderer, so a movie clip renderer, basically. And uh, yeah, I can go select my stuff here, boop, and eventually it will work here as well. That's what I'm working on. Uh, but like the way Josh Ibsen Beats works is super weird. Like our, um, I can actually show you ish. A new sub! Oh my God, it's been a while. Signed to Saint G. Let's join the battle. Thank you very much, my friend. Yay, Duty Beard, how you doing, man? No, I don't hear your punches. Uh, let me bring that up a bit. All right, there you go. I remember that uh, the uh, a long time ago, when I was streaming every single day, the fun was when I get punched in the face. I go, I was like, oh my god, and I, that knocked me out of my focus. But uh, yeah, okay. Let me see if uh, if I can share this. Ah, there you go. It works. Wow, bold big flank. What up, my friend? What is up? Hmm. Uh, okay, I want to try something. I forgot to. Uh, uh, secret. Like this, and this one will have that. And uh, I'm the newest. I'm, ah! Oh my god! And you sub as well! Coleo for three months is still fighting. Enjoy your new badge, my friend. Enjoy the new badge. Can I be on top of it? There we go. Uh, there's an E on Latch Cup. Yes, my friend. It's from Mega Man! Mega Man! Maybe I can put that like this. And can I. I want to make a, a secret scene. Because I want to get back on sharing some stuff with you guys. Because I got interesting stuff to share with you. Not that much today, but I did work on the level is there. And uh, I don't have something very visually flashy to show. However, I have something very interesting to show. Uh, do I have it? Where is it? Oh, I thought I still had it. We oui. okay, good. I think it's that. Let me see if it works. Yay! It works. Like this. The top secret thing. too loud <laughs> I forgot about those uh, most of you are like what the hell is going on those are my top secret cats la, 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 la. so that's when I'm working on stuff or I just brought up a you porn video for example and I don't want you to see it because I want to keep all the porns for me so that's where it comes in, you know? That's a top secret stuff. I should put like an animation on top secret, like, hey, working on top secret stuff. All right. Da, 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 da. Excuse me, what? Ba, ba, da. Wap, 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 da. Okay. All right, shut up. I can show you that. In what? In Unity. Oh, my OMG. OMG. And that's about it. <laughs> Not that much. But uh, hang on. like uh, that, that will get old very fast. Um, 
not that much, but I, I uh, managed. Okay, so you guys know. Can I put myself in big again? Yeah. Until it loads. Uh, when it's going to be loaded, I'm going to put it up again, but it's still loading. So you guys know that I'm not a big fan of Unity because like, I'm a purist. I kind of like, uh, I'm used to pressing F5 and pressing Ctrl Enter and boom, it's right on the screen, you know? But with Unity, the cool thing is you have like a, this huge editor thing where you, you get to uh, play with all the stuff on the screen and all that, and you get to see what's happening under the code, you know? That's uh, very cool. However, uh, it comes with uh, a lot of compile time. So it comes with a lot of overhead where uh, Unity is always compiling uh, like the editor saying like, hey, wait up, wait up. I want to show you what's happening. All right, there you go. You know, even though like, uh, so yeah, it, it, there's a lot of visual stuff and a lot of cool tools over there, but uh, I'm used to already made stuff uh, to make the, the, those tools for myself and use them only when I need it. Whilst on Unity, it loads everything, it loads the entire universe, and go like, okay, good. It goes one step, and then you're like, okay, yeah, show me this. You're like, wait up, it's load. It loads everything. Okay, even though you're just working on that tiny thing over there, every time you walk like one step, it just compiles forever. So for that, like, I don't really like it. I prefer where I just like. Uh, Again, purists, only the code, and then you press enter, boom, it's right on the screen, and you just go back and forth like this, you know? So that's what my, uh, that's why I don't really like Unity. However, uh, for the level editor, we have the level editor in Flash already, that's what's up there already, and that's what you guys have been working with. Devious no, what's up? Um... Uh, so we have the flash version of uh, the level editor and it's out there in Everton. But every time I make like a new enemy, I code it in flash. And then when it's all finished and I'm like, okay, good. I like the, uh, the levels. I have to recode the entire thing in unity and retest and test with the collision and all that in unity afterwards. So I kind of have like a, not really the, the double of the work, but kind of. We have a new sub as well. Mario Kirby, what up? What up, Mario Kirby? Thank you very much for that punch in the face. Thank you so much. Uh, but, 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 but compile time is when the project are big. Yeah, exactly. So uh, the, 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 the compile time of Unity for Just Shapes and Beasts right now, it's not that big. It's like uh, 17 or 18 uh, seconds. Uh, because I present you right now the entire... Again, I'm going to put the secret thing because I'm just... I'm just so scared of sharing stuff. Like, I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> we have... Uh, I Okay, I went on the master folder and went to search for secret string. You know, the thing that I don't want to share again because, like, I will be punched in the face if I do so. Uh, and I deleted all the files that contain that string, you know. So I think I'm good. But I'm so scared of sharing something I should not, you know. Uh, it should be good. It should be good. Let me just see. Ah, so with that, Lust Gamer? Is that it? Yes. Thank you very much for the host. Uh, and I'm doing a big punch in the face as well. Big fat hell this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back over there. <laughs> there we go. Big fat hell this. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I am so scared of everything. I think into the zone will work. Uh, is that it? Yeah, into the zone. All right, sweet. And I'll switch back here. Boom. So, uh, yeah, the, the compile time for just ships and beasts is not that big. It's like 17 seconds. You know, it's not that big considering uh, when I talk with other indies out there. Uh, they were like, yeah, it's like, mine is like 30 seconds, or mine is like uh, X amount of seconds. Uh, but 17, like, it's way too much for me. Like, I'm used to 4 or 5 seconds, and sometimes even 2. I'm used to just, like, control enter path, right on the screen. Uh, 17 seconds, there's like a threshold of like 7, 8, 10 seconds, where your mind, instead of, like, waiting for what's happening... Your mind wants to uh, distract itself. You know, you're like you're opening up a, a, a new tab and you go browse Facebook, for example, which is very bad. Nigel, 
What up? What up, Nigel? Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, so yeah, after 10 seconds, for example, I open up a new tab on Facebook and I get distracted and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna come back in like five seconds. It never happens. You end up on Facebook for like 15 minutes. I'm like, oh, where I was, you know? So you get distracted, so uh, it's all fast. Uh, so like, I like when it's like lower compile time. So I can just go like, control enter, take a sip of water, put it back and then I, I'm, I'm, right, I'm right there, you know? So it doesn't disrupt my flow, and that's why I really, really hate a longer compile time. But you know, for ex right now, you are looking at the entire scene of the entire game, right over there. So let's look at it. We have two elements. One is a camera, and the other one is one game object with one script. That's it, that's the entire project, right over there. So what happened when I press start, everything builds up on runtime. I have zero prefab, I have zero game objects. Everything goes like, everything goes on runtime. So if I look at it here, I have one quad to do the uh, little warning effect. And I have the, uh, uh, the collection of, uh, the sprite sheet and all that and then the sprite pool so if for example i want to see uh, put that in 3d whoa i want to see the scene in 3d i get this little dude over here and i'm like oh okay cool show me this this this, this sprite object and even if i take it and like move it nothing's gonna happen well i i, I picked the wrong one yeah there we go way you know oh yeah i can do that but on the very second on the very next frame it's gonna i oh, know it's not all right but anyway like it's not working like this you can check out like there's just like a sprite pool over here with all the rendering system over there but i have a little uh, thing here we can see uh, i hope you can see something but i don't know how i can uh, maybe i can ah! can i do that no. Uh, delete it. Uh, so you might see just a little bit. But uh, yeah, I have a flash stage inside my stage. I have movie clips. Inside the movie clips, I have like my hero and finally my hero over here. And finally the hero. Finally, finally, there we go. So I have my sprite renderer over here. So that's what's happening inside my code. I have a... Uh, like a uh, a child, uh, like a game object thing. I have a game object uh, ar architecture inside the uh, the code, but I'm just not using the the Unity's one, you know. So I'm not using any game object and everything. I'm like, okay, there's a shape over there. That's the matrix, and that's the transform that you need to put on the screen. Draw a quad there, and the next next frame, you know, pull it up, and that's it. So we don't use game object at all. So why the hell am I telling all you this? Is uh. I don't I don't understand why it takes like 17 seconds to compile that uh, it's obviously because of all the uh, it's it's because of all the uh, like the assets and all that that we charge uh, like uh, essentially the, 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 the game uh, hang on hang on hang on I'm gonna try to make sense the game is now big you know there's a lot of uh, songs a lot of assets a lot of stuff's going on in there with the networking and all that so the project here the thing over there that's becoming big and uh, whenever we do something unity try to just like okay what happened here again and just like recompile everything well we don't need that we just have that over there you know so working on the level is there going back on the level is there Rip. That's why I kept a flash version because when I work on the level, I don't want to get distracted. I want to go like super fast and all that. I wanted to keep the flash thing because uh, I hate to have to wait and I hate to have a uh, constraint when you are doing the creative work, when you're doing the prototyping and the, the prototyping and the creative thing. That's when you want to get rid of the technical uh, constraint. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> that would be another subject on its own actually but yeah that's where i just i just i want to make my life as easy as possible you know and then cram it down and then make it work but 
making a level right now is not something that makes me like super happy at the very beginning of the day i'm like okay what do i do and at the end of the day i'm like okay i finished something and i'm not really proud of what i did i have to show it to somebody else and then they will say like oh, okay it's good or it's or it's bad and i'll be like oh okay you know so i kind of distract i'm kind of uh, out of the process anyway it's not very a fun process uh anymore like the five first level or mortal combat was definitely something that i, I enjoy you know there was lots of fun to do but uh after the like 40th level you're like oh my god i need to find something to new and it's uh it's quite hard so that's why i want to keep it uh, very fast i want to keep it easy for me to work so i don't have like a second thing to get distracted with so that's why i have the flash version and the unity version because of compile time but the problem is we had to duplicate everything and i actually found um, i was trying to make the flash version faster at 60 fps because the flash version is like not running super smooth it's small and all that and it doesn't uh, the collision doesn't work there's a lot of bugs and all that so i was trying to optimize that version first and i think i show it here one time i was trying to do that uh however I came to one uh, test, like I had something, I had something that worked, but it wasn't really working at 60 FPS at full screen. It was okay-ish and there was lots of bugs, so I, I, I came to a point where I was like, alright, do I continue trying to make this happen, or do I and still have the gap between Flash and Unity, you know? Or I go to motor game, for example. If I convert everything into motor game, I could uh, at least have the code exactly the same. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to do that because anyway, it's laggy on the Flash starting version. So I was trying to do that, and then I kind of remember, I kind of realized that I could just create another project, a blank project, take the big project of just ships and beats and just take the small code and the small bits that i need to play a single level so i remove the story i remove the network i remove the controller support i remove uh the challenge system the playlist the the, the story everything except the levels and that made like i have a project now that run super fast and i was crying in uh, in uh, in in um, in joy so if for example i just change this i compile and i go there you can see that it's compiling and uh, six second i'm happy with that let's try again true Boop. There you go, five seconds something. Uh, I'm looking at that thing over here. So now I can play every single level of Just Ships and Beats in there, and I can run at 60 FPS, and I don't have the compile time constraint anymore, so I can do everything in there. So my point is I'm trying to do the level editor in Unity. That's what I wanted to do on streams like today. Uh, but today uh, we'll see what I can do because I still have like some things to do. But uh, yeah, level editor will be running at like 60 FPS. It will get closer to the uh, to the original game, you know. Because like if I do something in that little project, I know that I can just take the class into the other big project, and I know that if it works there, it will work over there, you know. So I kind of made like a small project so I can work with. And a cool thing is, uh, now I have to recreate the entire level is there though, but um, uh, I'm not very, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not very scared about that. Uh, the level, the interface was done and I can take a lot of the flash code into uh, C sharp because we have something here, flash unity, AS to CS selected, it converts everything from AS3 to C sharp. Uh, it does like 98% of the job so I can do that, you know, so I can just like translate everything into unity over there and be happy But yeah, that means that the level is there if everything goes correctly I will have the levels that are done in unity. It will be running super smoothly for you guys. I uh, will be able to import 
<laughs> so we want to have like a subset of song that you guys can pick with. Uh, for a release version, for something that we want to release live, uh, we don't want to uh, people to just load whatever MP3 and put it there because we're gonna get in a lot of problem. Uh, but uh, yeah, we have plans for that. Again, I don't know if Mike is actually like dancing on his chair right now, screaming in the screen. So I don't want to say much. Mike's balls are tingling. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. So. Um, I don't know where I was going with this, but yeah, I'm very happy that the level is there. Like, I found that solution of it here. Because uh, I was, like, spinning in circle for that. I had, like, four different type of levels there I could have done. I have done. I could have done the uh, flash only level is there, which is what I have right now. The Starling version. So it's flash, but, like, on cocaine. But it's still flash. Uh, mono game. That will be nice as well. So, like, nice iteration and all that. But that will take a lot of time to convert the engine into mono game anyway. And finally, this version here was something that was like, wait a minute, I can do that. You know, I know that a, uh, a blank project of Unity works well. A small project of Unity works well. It's when you have, like, huge project that Unity is like, Ugh, it's getting, like, harder and harder. So, yeah, I'm very, very glad. I found that solution so I can start making the levels there here and I have nothing to show you for now but uh, I uh, plan to make a uh, an interface with you guys and see like what would be the uh, the next interface the new interface for uh, the level is there like if I can have control support on the levels there as well uh, that would be one step closer to have it on anywhere you know I'm not gonna promise anything, but if I can plan ahead of like a way that it's mouse friendly and keyboard friendly, but also, but also uh, we can like kind of work with it with a keyboard. That's interesting. That makes the thing interesting. <laughs> Imagine a dancing mic now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> It can be there like Geometry Dash, we choose any song. Uh, in Geometry Dash, I think that you are selecting something from uh, Newground, right? Dance pad support. <laughs> I think that uh, Geometry Dash, you need to uh, choose a song from Newground. It's like a subset of songs. And anyway, like uh, I don't want people to load any um, MP3. There's two points. Like Number one is obvious is the copyright issue. Like uh, if you stream about it or something, uh, you'll get demonetized and all that. So that, but uh, even more than that, uh, I kind of want to still, I, you know, I want to have the lights. The whole point of Just Shapes and Beats or like a big point of Just Shapes and Beats is to have a spotlight on artists and awesome musicians out there. So if we control the way that we're giving away, uh, that you, if we control the, um, the subset of song uh we can give like proper feature and proper credits to all the artists you know we could have something in the levels there where there's like a new album of the week so every week we add a subset of songs we put it there and uh we have like hey let's play with those 10 new songs from shirobon and by the way new album is out and you can buy it and blah 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 you know so uh yeah, my whole point was to try to share the music with everyone. If I just put like a button, load the MP3 and you can do whatever you want, uh, it kind of defeat that purpose, you know? Uh, and also it's kind of very hacky. <laughs> it, <laughs> it can create lots of problems. Uh, yeah, that's why uh, Newground made a rule that was aimed to GD community. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, guys, <laughs> a little story time. So, GSBR Core, PlayStation has done. Level is there. Progress has been made. Like, I swear, progress is being made, guys. I swear. I've been working, like, uh, I'm working, like, every single day. This is, like, there's so much stuff to do. Uh, we have a new guy though. We have a new guy uh, who's working on Just Ships and Beats already exclusively on Just Ships and Beats on new feature and all that so uh, we, we are still working on new stuff for GSB guys uh, Sharing the stream. I told you that already next week for those who just come in uh, next week on May 16 11 a.m. I'm gonna start a stream. Well, just gonna play Just Ships and Beats for the entire day on uh, PS4 
uh, working on the hardcore version and I'm gonna give uh, like one box every time I get hit or something like that and if you want to give for charity then that will be a nice, nice time because every 50 bucks will give like keys for the game and other giveaway like t-shirts and all that, and all that so that will be nice Shane, I want to talk about Shane. Something very bad happened with Shane. Damn it! So you know that Infernax is a cursed project, right? Well, we got a new iteration of that thing. Infernax is indeed a very, very cursed project. Oh my God! So the thing is, I invited, I invited Shane to be to work here with us. I'm like, hey, Shane. By the way, it would be awesome if you come to Canada for a while. For like six weeks and we work together and uh, we finish up in for next like once and for all you know we just work in super sprint mode and me and you and just like we work like hell you know and we're like oh yeah that's so cool so let's do that so we found a place we found like the, the plane tickets and all that and finally thank you very much for the bits uh, finally he went here in Quebec he landed here he just landed here in Quebec but he never passed the custom. He got rejected here at the custom. So he went back home at the custom because they said, no, we want you, we don't want you here for very weird reason. <sighs> for reason that even our lawyer and our fiscalists and our accountants, everyone here that knows about laws and shit are like, what the hell happened, you know? So, yeah, it's a curse, guy. Infernax is a curse. Shane got back home. I'm, uh, I spent a lot of time this week trying to deal with that. I still need to find a lawyer. I still need to, uh, to meet, like, another lawyer to talk about, like, what the hell happened. But, guys, that, that destroyed me morally. Like, uh, uh, I was there at the airport on Tuesday. I was just, like, waiting there. It was just, like, right across the wall. I was about to meet him and then security guards came to me and said like hey it's not gonna happen bye I was like oh my god and they made me feel bad and all that man that was yeah this curse strikes again right yeah that man I was so pissed about that and they make you feel bad you know they make you feel like you're the villain and I was like no everything is in order they said no you're not you should do that. I'm like, no, that's not how it works. Yes, it is. I have a badge and a gun. That's how it works. And I'm like, no, that's not how the law works. But, yeah. Anyway. Vmet. Hélène, je te jaserai de ça. C'est vraiment intéressant. Something with more details outside, offline. Because I don't want to say anything that would, like, that, that could incriminate me or something. But yeah, like everything is in order. And uh Silver X, oh my god, man, it's been forever. What up? Almost four years, man. <laughs> what up, man? But yeah, like we were in we were like we uh we are all legal and all that. So I verified that before and after, and everything was in order. But no, they didn't want to. So, fuck, we're about at square one. So, what I've been working on these days, uh, here and there, is just cleaning up the engine to try to prepare the uh, prepare the background for the next project. Uh, we t I told you that um, I told you that I work on a secret project with Mark already, uh, because it's been a long time. I've been working. Uh, I worked on it like I built it up in Flash and installing. Uh, as usual, but uh, with the latest update and some vital, we are seeing that the iOS version, like it's not dying, but the air support is still there. You no know? air and the flash guys are still there. So, for example, iOS release a new release of X, Y, and Z. You no, know? say, hey, by the way, right now, if you want to send us a new build, you need to support this. And uh, like the week after. Air send an update and say, hey, by the way, here's the update and now it's going to work. So the air support is there. The guys are still working on it and all that. That's all good. But the external API that we use, for example, showing the ads, 
or uh, the uh, in-app purchases or the sharing social stuff and all that that's external api and those guys they don't give a shit about hair anymore you know they don't give a shit because everybody's saying like air is dead flash is dead blah 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 so air is still supporting it and all that so we can release new updates on ios all good but yeah the ios version uh won't have ads on ios anymore because the ads doesn't work you know uh and ios in a way is like super hard to work on so you have to send a build and then they say oh it doesn't pass why because it doesn't pass that's it so it's really hard to work on that but anyway my point was uh, uh we see that uh, we should get we should change platform for the next project you know uh, so yeah, for the, the other secret project I'm working on, uh, I want to start in mono game exclusively on mono game, and then maybe switch on Unity at the end. But like, start in mono game and build the entire game on mono game. Uh, so that's why I'm working on the engine right now because uh, I want to take the time to clean everything, clean the tool, make everything fast, make everything optimized, and just say, okay, this is how it works. We can uh, build like have better building blocks and uh, make it more modular and all that you know so there's a lot of stuff in the engine that i don't like uh so that's what i'm fixing right now like between project is always good it's always good to check out like, your tools and be like okay now how can i make my tools better from the next project and then you iterate like this and then eventually you have a very nice workflow you know so that's what i'm doing right now uh because i was waiting for shane uh to come here to work on infernax but yeah he's not here so i'm gonna try to still keep <sighs> I'll, I'll get him here like we'll get him here he'll get here eventually in the meantime i'm working a little bit on the engine and the uh level dessert the zombie ios zombie still hasn't hit the store yet ah uh, let me check that out let me check that like really quickly oh there you go kojak man kojak you're here what up that day was pretty rough. I didn't see you here, man, Kojak. Mike would say they probably just didn't poop that morning. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. They didn't poop. I think they never pooped in their life. Kojak, can you check it out? I think that the uh, the uh, the iOS version was pending release. I didn't want to press the button because uh, you were in the plane and all that. Should be good now. All right, sweet. Yeah, Kojak, man. I was pissed. Oh, my God. You were just right, right next, like right the other side of the wall. My God, what are you doing these days, by the way, Kojak? Like, are you still moving? I know that you were like in the middle of two, two houses. So it's been a while, man. It's been a while. How you been, man? I mean, good. I mean, good. A little bit rocky, like I said. Like, uh, I was about to, sh to work with Shane on Infernax and finally finish it up. Man, I, I can't believe this game. This game is so cursed. It is insane. At this point, it's not even funny anymore. This game is cursed like hell. Like, uh, I don't know. Would I die? Would I, I think that when it's going to be finished, we're going to finish the game. We're going to release it. I'm like, oh, finally, we beat the curse. And then... Our dick will fall off for no reason or something like that, you know? Oh, I got cancer! Why? Like, at that point, I would be like, oh, okay, Infernax, that's why, you know? That, that's why. It's the, That project is so cursed. But we want to win against the universe. We want to win against that. Like, curse intensify, right? Yeah, right. Right before you get to click the button of releasing, you get a heart attack. <laughs> Why is it so cursed? I don't know. I don't know. But we're still working. Like, Mark has joined the battle, actually. Mark and Etienne are working on Infernax right now, revamping, like, a lot of visuals. And Mark is making magic. Mark has worked on the Messenger, guys. If you don't know the Messenger, they made by some friends here uh, called um, Sabotage Studio. And uh, they made a very, very good game called The Messenger. It's a fantastic game. You should go play it out. And uh, Mark has work on it. And also my name are in the credits. <laughs> uh, search for driver doesn't take any bullshit from cops. Uh, shut them down on Facebook. Oh, my God. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, okay. I think uh, before I forget... I'm gonna go back to the secret thing here. 
do we hear uh, do we hear the cats when I go there no okay cool uh, I want to close unity I want to close my code as well and I want to open up the level editor and I want to play a bunch of levels made by your friend here last gamer he sent me I think like three different uh, three different song so I want to check it out because it's been like forever secrets again yeah again like i'm very uh i'm very like i'm very cautious about sharing stuff guys and i want to uh, that's a bit why i i that's a bit why i want to stream anyway and just try to deal with that you know because like before just shapes and beats i was just streaming and that's it you know i was not streaming the story but i didn't care if like you saw like a screenshot or something in the story because it didn't mean it that much but now, if you see what we're working on, uh, we lose the scoop and we lose all the attention. And sometimes there's uh, literally NDAs that we should not be showing stuff. So we can get like legally in trouble now. So that's why I'm like, streaming is like ah, very hard for me. So that's why I'm very, very cautious. Like one thing at a time, be sure that, okay, everything is there. All right, good, you know. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go into my mails. This is a triumph. I'm making a note here. You success. Taking forever. So I think that the ne the next one. Oh, actually, you you actually made a level, uh, not a level, but you made a YouTube videos about that, I believe. I'll get demonetized because of that, Mr. Last Gamer. I'll get demonetized. <laughs> That's a bit why I, I want to uh, keep control of the subset of song we can use. Uh, Lost Gamers. Boom. Uh, I'm trying to load it up. It's loading. So my TV broke last night while I was, while I was playing just ships and beats. What? <laughs> uh, it just went dead completely. Oh my god. Imagine if you were playing in for an axe. Alone should be fine. It's a monster cat song. Yes? Question mark. I could do alone. Uh, it's just loading infinitely. I'm gonna wait a bit. The curse has jumped from Infernax to Just Ships and Beats. <laughs> uh, I never considered the curse might survive the release. <laughs> now we're just trying to spread the curse. It's gonna be way worse now. Like everybody play the game is like, ah, they die and everything. Oh, we, we should make an official statement about that. Like, somewhere in the game saying, like, Oh my god, if you played this, like, now the curse is up to you, you know? Like, you have to make your own Infernax now, because we made it so we can get rid of the curse. And there's a message that I can hear. I can't believe how many streams I missed in the past. And since I'm a generous as well, I am letting you and the other have a piece of my 20th birthday. My god, as well, in form of donation. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you so much, my friend. <laughs> really appreciate it. Again, donation goes all to charity, by the way. Everything goes to charity. I don't want your filthy money here. All right? You keep your money. I... Because uh, I, I said it like a multiple times. Oh, man, it takes forever. Oh, I hate Thunderbird. All right, there we go. Uh, I, I said it a couple of times already, but... Uh, I don't like to 
uh, I don't want to rely on money that I release on stream here to uh, pay for my kids or your know, education and bills and all that. You know, and I don't want to rely on that because I feel better if I rely on my creative job. You know, my I, I'm gonna say my actual job, uh, which is making games. Uh, to because uh, I, I don't want to be in a spot where I'm like, oh my god, guys, I need like uh, 200 bucks to pay my bills. Uh, please, I have kids. You know, that this, I. I don't feel comfortable with that so uh, I, I rather take like all the money uh, that I receive here on Twitch either give it back to you guys in form of giveaways or whatever like you know uh, t-shirts and whatnot and or just pass it up to charity so because uh, I don't want I know that people are very uh, interested and very like they feel better when they give donation to uh, streamers and because they want to show the support and all that so I don't want to get uh, rid of that I don't want to keep you from doing that however I don't want your filthy money, so I'm just gonna mirror it back to you or just like ew, switch it to, to something else. Like something I was thinking of one day was like, that would be awesome if I take the donation uh, that we receive here. If we can reach like 5,000 bucks or something, we uh, fly in Shirobon and Daniel Cannon and Chipzel at random country not country but random town and we make a party and uh, we invite everyone you know that would be nice you know so we get like a the, the donation here is like to fund a party from fan by fan i don't know that would be something interesting to 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 check out the problem is like where uh yeah and flying everyone and all that we're gonna do on tour. That's it. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna make an on tour thing. Okay, so I have my three levels over there. Let me just double check if. Uh, okay, so everything is there as well. One, two, fight. Okay, so I think I'm good. No, 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 not what I'm trying. I think I'm good. That's that's wow. All right, let's go into demonetization zone. So, can I hear a song now? Yes, I can. All right, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. This demonetization is sponsored by. That Lost Gamer! That Lost Gamer is keeping, like, has the, the hands on the level editor. One of the few who has the level editor. And he's been super, uh, super cool and sent me a lot of levels and all that. And also, he has a YouTube channel. You could go check it out. Uh, let me see again. Uh, oh my god, I, I still. Uh, I'll bring that up. Alright, YouTube Lost Gamer. I just want your. Uh, uh, I just want your. That last gamer, I believe. I want your URL. I want that URL. Just shapes and beats. Isn't it that last gamer? Should be that last gamer, right? There we go. There we go. Boom. All right. Boom. Boom! Uh, boom as well. Boom! There we go. That last gamer over here, right here in the chat. Uh, so uh, go support him, guys. Uh, go subscribe to his channel. He's releasing like a bunch of uh, new uh, songs for uh, just ships and beats. Actually, uh, lots of uh, fan and community uh, levels. So uh, I did not saw see them yet. I haven't seen any of them, I believe, because I wanted to keep the uh, the uh, reaction over here. So I hope that everything is fine. Yep, I think everything is fine. Good. I'm gonna try that up. Is it there? This was a triumph. Yay! I'm making a note here. 
I tried to put up two videos a week, okay, sweet. It's hard to I love that song, by the way. <laughs> That's a good idea for the, uh, the guitar strings. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no sense going the over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of it. And nice. the signs get stolen and you make a neat clown for the people who are still alive. Oh, cool. Whoa, whoa. Nice. That's a good idea. I'm not even angry. <laughs> Back so much memory that song. I love it. zone everywhere <laughs> hey good job man great job might i say like three minutes <laughs> the cake at the end wow i love it <laughs> oh man that really pumps me up to continue a level is there and make something official about it you know i want to release that fucking thing I would love to come in like every week and be like, okay, let's play your game, guys. Uh, bye. And like, here's the new songs that we put in the. I don't call this. That we put in the. <laughs> Ouch, I hurt myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, here's 10 new songs to put in the, uh, the level editor. Like, here's blah, blah, blah. You know, and then we, we work together and do all that. That'll be awesome. We're getting closer. Like, every day, we're getting closer. I met some people at TwitchCon Europe, actually. I met a guy from, uh, I'm going to say a music label, a uh, very popular music label, who was interested into working with us like uh, a lot. Uh, I know that they are interested to work with us, but now I was working, I was talking with the technical guy. So we were like one step further and talk with the tech guy and say, hey, how can we do this? Like, how can we make this possible? Uh, so we are already there, you know, talking about the production side. So the paperwork is done. Talk, like talking about technical side and uh yeah like all of to that to say that there's a huge amount of work to be done for levels there if we want to do it correctly but we are still like boop, 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 one day at a time coming closer and all that and we again we have a new guy on the team as well so right now it's been like two weeks or three that is working on the game is working on something that i cannot show you again another of the million of secrets that i cannot show you like at least the level editor i can show it to you at least we have that part and i'm like hey let's work on this right i right, don't pay attention of all the fancy stuff going on in the background like that's that's focus on this thing so at least you have that 
But uh, my point was, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Other, Mr. FX, uh, uh, I want him to be working on the level editor eventually, uh, so he can help me up on the level level editor as well. So I want him to be working on that as well. That would be awesome. Uh, TwitchCon Europe or PAX West? It was TwitchCon Europe. If the PAX West, dude, I'm so pumped to work on level on that label. Uh, if it's the PAX West, dude. Maybe it was on Pax West as well, but uh and then came As if the donation was just not enough. Bada boom bada bam Thank you very much NK for three months and subscribe. Thank you so much. Man, every time every every time I about to stream, five minutes about the, uh, before I jump into the stream, I'm like, oh, I don't wanna stream, I don't wanna stream, because like today uh more specifically today i was very focused in the code i was very like in 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 the uh like in the engine and you know i was very deep in there uh like my wife was talking to me earlier and i was like e phasing out all the time because i was really deep in the code and monkey man monkey man sub number one what up sub number one and uh yeah i was uh, i was really deep in the code and i didn't want to uh to stop working on that uh to stream you know i didn't want to uh, interrupt uh i was like oh, i don't want to stream me, me, me. but every time i jump on the stream i'm like yeah that's freaking awesome i love streaming you know so i like a big smile and adrenaline pump and all that and i keep talking forever i hope you guys uh like my ramblings because i tend to be very talkative and very uh segue and say the same sentence use lots of sentences to say the same thing a million secrets or maybe another secrets that's even more secrets that's a million two secrets <laughs> yeah right oh man uh monkey man by the way i might be doing commissions soon Ooh, since you've been asking me uh, quite a little while ago Ooh, some community stuff happening very cool <laughs> That's a lot of months. Yeah, 51 month, right? Yeah, totally. Uh, yesterday, I went to uh, to uh, see a stream on Jules. And uh, I, I, Jules is the very first uh, channel I subbed a long time ago. And yesterday, I was like at 57 month sub for Jules. I was like, oh my god. It took forever. Like 57 month. But you're at 51. That's a lot as well. It's just because I haven't streamed that long. That that's uh, Jules is the number one uh, guy. We did that. Okay. Yeah, another song. Another song by Lost Gamer. Alone, Marshmallow. Demonetization level again, but we'll check it out anyway.
without getting hit. Bam! That's what it does. What game is it? Hey, SKS! SKS! Welcome aboard, my friend. My name is Latch. Working on just ships and baits, and then we're looking at some levels made by fans. This particularly made by that last gamer over here. Uh, color is the last one. And then it will be time to say goodbye because kids are here and I need to take care of them and I will have to restart this. And the game broke? Has it broke? Or is it just like very long song? Ooh. Maybe it broke. Yes, there's a lots of error going down up there. Restart editor. Yep. Uh, select song. We got the colors over here. I'm so loud. There we go. And I don't know that song. much oh, yeah, I stopped dying latch please thank you so much man I really love it I really love who Grant feet Juno okay I need to check out that artist uh, can, can I yeah uh, I'm gonna go in top secret mode just in case I show stuff or whatever monster cat ah yeah cool a monster cat sweet uh, I'm sorry Ah, yeah, sweet from Monster Cat. That means we may be able to get the license for it. <laughs> but yeah, man, I really love it. Thank you very much, uh, everyone in the chat. Uh, big round of applause for that lost gamer who sent me not one, not two, but three levels of just ships and bees. Thank you very much, man. Really, really appreciate it. Wait, there's a public level maker? Not yet. Almost. Almost. So, uh, well, it's a good time to, uh, it's a good segue into that, actually. Uh, we have, like, I made a level is there for myself uh, when I made, uh, well, there we go. That's the level is there right over there. So, uh, the levels is there allow you to do a cool, a uh, bunch of cool stuff. Like, uh, you know, you can put, like, uh, uh, like, the round spike, for example. You put the round spikes over there. And then you go like preview, pew, 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 pew. and um, hang on, I'm gonna change the direction of them. Pew, 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 pew. So they're just like releasing like this, and then you can like adjust the speed, for example, and make it faster. So they go like pew, 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 pew. so then you can put a bunch of them on the screen like this, and just like copy paste all that, and then just play it and try the game. So 
I made that for myself to make all the levels, but the problem is uh, it's in Flash and it's also now you can like select any song out there. So if I, if we release that first, it's very ugly. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's very ugly. It's like this. It's buggy as hell, but it's working. You know, it was a tool for ourselves. So everything is an aerial. It's not very, not very impressive. Uh, but yeah, we didn't really want to release that as, as it is first because if you select song like this we're gonna get in a lot of problem because people can just like make a metallica and put it up there and that's it and we're gonna get the, the copyright issues and all that you know so we don't want that trouble over there so we want to revamp it and we also wanted to make it correctly that means we want people to be able to share a level for example we want the artist to get a uh, you know to be properly credited uh, so if you share a level made from like a subset of songs that were like, okay, we have the license of those, uh, you could like make a video on YouTube and not get demonetized. And also we're going to have a credit of the artist over there, blah, blah, blah. You know, we're trying to figure out like just a big win-win situation here. And, uh, yeah, so it works, but it's been done in flash and I'm reworking on it to make it work at 60 FPS and all that. Because, like, it works visually, but the collision doesn't work. Uh, and there's a lot of bugs here and there. <sighs> so, we, uh, yeah, we want to work on that. Uh, and, yeah, slowly, but surely, we're getting there. We're going to go there, man. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. I tried to keep all my videos with Monster Cat. Yay! You can try with... Uh, like uh, I can tell you, like I, we don't have like official business with them and all that, but uh, Monster Cat, Wolf Beats, and um, uh, 19, li 19, li 99 Lives, uh, we have a better relation. Like those are the three labels we already work with in Just Ships and Beats. Like uh, the, um, those are labels we work with for the release, the actual release of the Just Ships and Beats. You know, so we know them personally already, so it will be easier for us. To do something with those three labels so you have access like to thousands and thousands of songs if you're keeping those labels already you know so if you don't want to get the demonetized and all that uh, that'll be a better what about shirobon well shirobon we know him personally like the guy directly and i don't think he goes through a label but oh my god i love shirobon's music i love it so much like that's <laughs> that's that's why there's like two new songs on the the, the not the not the DLC, but the, the latest update we made. You know, we, we made like a five song update. It was two songs from Shirobon, uh, just because I randomly bought it uh, uh, the album. I th I think we he was like the artist of the week here. We used to do that a while ago, and uh, yeah, I watched I, I have listened to his album. It was like man, it's fantastic. So I made two new songs of that. Uh, Shirobon music is awesome. You good? You should go. Yeah, you should. You should go check it out and buy his songs. Uh, yeah, buy buy all the album. Yeah, totally. Shirobon's man, love him. I never, I never saw him in real life. Never met him, but I talked to him like a lot on Twitter and all that. Exciting stuff coming up with Shirobon as well. Uh, yeah, guys. So I think that's it for now. Um, Infernex. Yeah, I talked about that. Infernex. Still working on that. Uh, sorry, Infernax is a curse game. I told you already. It's really, really curse game. <sighs> Man. Uh, I don't know where to start with that. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Infernax. Oh my god. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. I think that's it for today. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Boom. Uh, like this. So, so uh, let me see if we can raid somebody. Uh, but if, 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 guys, by the way, I have another channel, Latch Plus. Uh, so same same name, Latch Plus. Uh, I stream there here here and there. Uh, sometimes stream with, stream with my daughter, where I just play games and all that. Uh, I was thinking about like streaming me playing piano, for example. Like I don't know, I uh, I'd like to to test other stuff with that. Do you think the level there is gonna be released this year? Prob oh my god, I don't know. I was about to say probably not. But I don't know. Uh, for consoles, no. That's a big no. Uh, not going to be released on console. We might release it 
like uh, on the on the secret folder in the main game, you know, uh, not in the actual game. Like you cannot like open just ships and beats and like have the levels there over there. Uh, the way we're thinking about it, slowly putting it in there, uh, like a, 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 not as a DLC, but like in this secret folder or something like that. Uh, but yeah, we don't know yet. You know, we don't know. We don't know. We gotta check it out. Uh, I hope like if I, like it changed so so uh, how can I say that like we work on something and like okay we're gonna release that in three weeks and then there's like a huge opportunity where there's like one guy saying like hey if you give it to us while doing X we might have something special and make like a big announcement and all that you know so uh, sometimes we go like, oh, okay we're gonna keep that and do that there but like change things change like every single week so that's why i'm like nah, nah, nah. and also i'm in control of production not uh, release and distribution that's more in a hunter and mike's territory and that's why i'm always like super cautious of what i say because i don't want to make them in trouble afterwards you know so i just want to take care that the uh the production side works the technical side works because i'm a coder first and uh, that's what the really uh really uh r really rings my bell what made you guys use unity 3d uh well flash is dying <laughs> we uh we made um we've been doing uh games on flash like for a long time well not anymore but like for a long time that's how we started up in 2008 uh and the artists are still working in flash because it's a great animation tool uh, and also the UI. The UI is a great UI tool as well. You know, so it's a great tool in general. But the player is 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 dead. You know, like, well, yeah. Anyway, uh, let, let's just say it's dead. Uh, so we had to switch for something else. And back then, 2010, when we were about to release on the iPhone, it was iPhone. Like, it was iPod second generation back then. Uh, when we were about to release over there. Uh, I was looking out uh, around on the internet to see how can we um, make animation how can we make animations that looks kind of like a, a flash and I saw a guy made a forum post of how they made their own and I was like oh, okay that works with unity and back then it was like unity 2 uh, it was not even I don't it was unity second I you know like it was not very big back then uh, but yeah we decided like oh, okay it's doable let's do it in unity so we switch in there we build a lot of tools and then unity just grew up and work on consoles and all that so we just kept with it you know so yeah I call it unity mainly some some small project though yeah I mean it's a good it's a good engine it's a very good engine I have 50 levels planned for when the levels start get get public oh nice I can't wait to see that man uh okay so who can we punch in the face now uh i don't know angry joe is there i'm gonna go punch him i don't know if he, get, he likes to get raid or or i don't know but he's there let's punch him yeah all right let's do that raid angry joe show boom on to fight so yeah guys thank you very much for uh, watching today it was very good i always like uh i always like doing those streams uh, and uh yeah your stuff's coming up for the levels they're still working on that uh playstation release tomorrow and next week i'm gonna be streaming a charity week where i play the entire hardcore edition trying to get s rank on the hardcore everywhere can't wait to get my ass kicked uh, thank you very much guys you guys are the best especially you Goodbye!